Welcome back in BTHS and good morning. I'm Salvin. And I'm Melissa. And, and this, this is MBT News. News. Yeah, man. Let's go see what people think. Take it away. Thanks, guys. Now we will be interviewing the students of North Brunswick and asking them what are they thankful for for this Thanksgiving. Now let's see what they're up to. So what are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? I'm thankful for my family and friends. All family and friends. Uh, what's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Uh, turkey. Macaroni and cheese. Right. Um, are you guys traveling anywhere this Thanksgiving? Uh, no. I'm staying at the cribbo. Word. All right. That's it. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? I'm honestly thankful for my mother. I love my mother to death. You can ask anybody who knows me. I'm a mother's boy, and that's just the thing with me. Now, I made peace with that. I love my mom to death. And um, my favorite dish is uh, got to be that baked macaroni with that honey ham. Man, you don't even know. What about you? Uh, I'm thankful for um, my dad and my mom and my sister. And my favorite dish is rice, beans, and chicken. All right, y'all heard that. So what are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? I'm thankful for my daughter. Um, what's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? I love macaroni and cheese. Is there anywhere you're traveling to this Thanksgiving? No. <laughs> All right, thank you. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? I'm thankful for my friends and my family and being here. And I'm thankful for the people that are around me, helping me through stuff. I'm thankful for my family and, like, God giving me another year just to be here. What's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Mm, Big Mac and cheese. Mm, strip Alfredo. Anywhere you guys are traveling this Thanksgiving? Probably not because I always have Thanksgiving like at my house or like at my aunt's house and that's not far. So Probably just my brother's house. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Well, now back to the studio. Yo, Seven, what do you think about Kanye's new album? I'm going to leave that to Amon. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm on as review. Let's check it out. Good morning, MTSS. It's your boy, Amon Made It. Back with you with another monthly music review. And today, I'll be reviewing Kanye West's new album, Jesus is King. Jesus is King is Kanye's 11th studio album and his first official gospel album. It has features from artists such as Clips and Kenny G on the song Use This Gospel. Use this gospel for protection. It's a hard road to heaven. We call on your blessings. In the Father, we put our faith. Kanye also has the number one song in the country right now called Follow God with features just himself. Life like this is what your life like. Try to live the life right. People really know you push your buttons like type right. This is like a movie, but it's really very lifelike. Every single night right. Every single fight right. Overall, Kanye West truly delivered on his promise of having a true gospel album, and his first gospel album is not half bad. I'll probably give it about a 3, 3.5 stars out of 5. Also, if you were giving the morning feeling dangerous, got a new pair of Tims or a new pair of all black Air Force Ones, I recommend you listen to that new NBA Youngboy. This album is called AI Youngboy, and it was also number one on the Billboard 200 chart. I feel like on Gucci Mane in 2006 All these diamonds dancing on my fucking neck I like for bricks Ain't no way that I be talking on that truck Don't make no sense here also, if you wake up in the morning in your bag, you missing your ex, your boo playing games, or your boo just let you, I recommend, I recommend you listen to some of new album over it. So won't you say my name, say my name. If you claim you want me, it ain't no that. You acting kind of shady. You ain't been calling me baby, y'all. But yeah, make sure you guys check out those three albums. Once again, it's your boy, Mom Maiden. Back to you guys in the studio. Someone should suggest a song for the morning music, don't you think? Yeah, but do you think Mr. Nola allows it to play? That's true. You know Mr. Nola has Principal Corner next? Yes, he's going to speak about an important topic today. That's it. Good morning, this is Mr. Neller. For this month's principal segment, I am standing outside in front of our flagpole on a not-so-nice day to talk about yesterday's Veterans Day program. What began as a small ceremony outside in front of our flagpole in front of the building has turned into a, a big event every year for our community, the entire North Brunswick community, inside our auditorium. Our program has expanded over the years because we're committed to supporting our veterans and to making them feel the recognition they deserve for their sacrifices they made for their country serving in our military and some of them serving in armed conflicts. Um, each year we recognize them 
our band and chorus performs for them. We discuss some of their accomplishments. We introduce them to the students who attend. We also invite elementary school students to come and ask them questions. Um, it really is a, a nice program that we hold for our students, our staff, and the community. And just remember to thank a veteran for their service. Have a great day. I want to thank all the veterans for their service. Yes, thank you. Have you been in the lunchroom after lunch B? No, I haven't. Why? Because Ryan was telling me that it was really dirty. Let's go ahead and check out the story. Thanks, guys. This is Ryan reporting in the comments about the mess made here and in the new cafe during the lunches. Now, how does it make you feel when you see all the trash on the tables after the lunches? Pretty disappointed in the students that go to uh, North Brunswick uh, Township High School. I agree. Now, isn't it your job to clean up all the garbage? Not after young adults, it's not my job to clean up. You should be responsible enough to take care of your own eating area, for the, even to be courteous to the next people, I gotta come and sit. Who do you think is responsible for all the trash being left around? The kids, definitely the kids. It's not the custodians, because it's your food, so I think the kids should like definitely pick up their garbage after themselves. Our custodians are responsible to make sure that the tables are clean, that the garbages are empty, um, that you have places to throw out your garbage. But ultimately, it is the responsibility of the students to throw out their own garbage. Um, you're all young adults. Um, you're all being prepared to go out into the world, and we all have home training. We all should know to pick up after ourselves. I'm sure our moms and dads have taught us those basic things. So it is disappointing to have to tell kids that are almost adults to have to clean up after themselves. Now, do you think there should be consequences for people who don't pick up their trash? I think there should, but I don't think there's a really effective way to police it, like uh, enforce it. I, I don't like to give consequences to students. Um, you know, I, I don't want to look for new ways to get kids in trouble, but uh, it's not something that I'm going to rule out, that eventually we may give consequences for kids when they leave their lunch on the tables. Um, but I'm just asking you before it gets to that point, just common courtesy again is to throw your own garbage out. Um, and I agree with that. Um, I've said to kids at tables on more than one occasion, I feel like giving you all signed tables so that maybe if we did that, you would do what you're supposed to do. And why should we have to do that? You're not in kindergarten anymore. You guys have any other thoughts on this? Um, I have a lot of thoughts. I just wish, you know, young adults would have more respect for your school, your peers. Um, this is a place of education, not a place to have food fights and, you know, just be a little more respectful. That's all I'm asking. Would you really thank the staff for everything that they do for our school? Now, back to the studio. You wouldn't leave trash like that, would you? No, but thank you my mom cleans up after our meals at home. Mine too. Anyways, what are you doing over the weekend? I don't know, I might chill and watch a movie. What movie? Um, I don't know, man. Let's see, let's go to Matt and see what he has. I have a question for you all. Why'd you spill your beans? How long have we been on this rock? Five weeks? Two days? Help me to recollect. Lighthouse, A24's latest movie, and I'm gonna review it because I feel like we need a little bit of that indie film on this review section. And I gotta say, Lighthouse may be the best movie of the year. Yes, better than Endgame. But what makes The Lighthouse so, so amazing? The themes of isolation, madness, cabin fever are displayed so thoroughly through the film as we see our main two characters just delve into more insanity than they've ever been. In other words, this is a much better Joker movie than Joker. Yeah, I said it. The performances are all fantastic as well. Robert Patterson is, is excellent in it, but the, steals, the show stealer is Willem Dafoe. This dude went from Jesus, to Gil, to Green Goblin, to now this sailor that speaks in sailor talk. In other words, Willem Dafoe's playing Mr. Krabs. I like how the film is shot in black and white. It gives it a very distinct, old, timely feeling. And I like the aspect ratio. For those of you who don't know, aspect ratios are basically like the bars on the screens. In this case, the film is set in a, in a 1.19-1 aspect ratio. In other words, it's like really full screen. But it helps capture how, how closed off they, claustrophobic the whole thing feels. So that's really much I could say about The Lighthouse without giving anything away. It's just fantastic, and I'm gonna give this five stars. 
overall, that's it for Ray Reviews. You all have a good day. And remember, stay away from the hooks, me boyo. One. Did you see that movie? Nah, man. Are you going to? Nah, I seem way too deep. I'm just going to check out the upcoming events. Here are some upcoming events. The Blood Drive is on November 11th. The Alchemist Show rehearsal for M is on November 15th and 16th. The Football Home Game against Cherokee is on November 15th. The Power Puff has been moved to November 19th. Mr. SGL is supposed to be on November 22nd. 1203 closing on November 27th. No school on Thanksgiving, November 28th. No school on November 29th either. College Financial Aid Night is on December 3rd. There is a 12.03 closing on December 5th. And December 8th, the first audition for Coffee Health are taking place. Okay, that about wraps it up for us here at MBT News. Yeah, that's a wrap. Until next time, have a great day, MBTHS. I'm still wondering what they're going to play for the passing time now. Just let it go.